It's no surprise that I'm constantly filling my garden with plants. But there are times when the beds are full and I have to find alternatives, which is what I need to do with this batch here. I'm going to pop them up into grow bags. Grow bags are a great solution to a space problem, especially in smaller gardens with limited room. Even a set of steps or a driveway can be utilised as growing areas, provided you've got access to sun. They're also easy to move, so you can shift them when either more sun or occasional shade is required. They were really handy at our last place where we were renting, because it meant we could take at least part of our garden with us. And as you can see, when you're not using them, they take up a lot less room than empty pots. There are all sorts of grow bags to suit the growing requirements of different plants. This one has a volume of 39 litres and is a perfect size for growing a compact blueberry variety like this one, which is sunshine blue. Blueberries like acidic soil, so I've used a zalea mix here, which is perfect. And these handles make it really easy to move the bags around. This one's smaller at 16 litres volume. Have a look at the walls. These are actually made from recycled plastic bottles. It's a spun fibre, which means that water easily passes through it, but also air gets in. And that means that the roots don't get root bound by circling around like they do in a plastic pot. They grow to the outside of the bag and then they stop. I'm using a general purpose premium potting mix here, which has excellent drainage and is perfect for lavender and an underplanting of common thyme. Grow bags not only come in different sizes, they also come in different shapes and materials. This one's square and is made from jute, but it also has a waterproof lining, which means it's good for plants that like slightly moister conditions. But importantly, it's also got plenty of drainage holes so water can drain away. I'm using the same general purpose potting mix and I'm planting native lemongrass which has fragrant leaves and ornamental flowers and seed heads. It's something a little different to the common lemongrass, which I also grow. This bag is made from coir, or shredded coconut husks. Apparently, it will last for one to two years before breaking down. And once it does start to deteriorate, you can put the plant straight into the ground bag and all, or compost it. Here I'm planting a jalapeno chilli, again using premium potting mix. Spuds are probably the classic grow bag crop, and I've had plenty of success with this method over the years. Here I've combined 50% potting mix and 50% hydrated coir to make a low cost media that is also a bit lighter than straight potting mix. Start with about 150 millimetres of mix at the base. Lay out your seed potatoes, then cover with another 100 millimetres of mix. Once the seed buds shoot, keep adding mix around the stems as they grow until the bag is full. But don't smother the tips. Potatoes will set off the stems of the plant and can be harvested as baby potatoes or larger potatoes once the plants die down. Like any plants growing in containers, they'll need regular watering and fertilising to thrive. You can see just how easy it is to add some extra gardening real estate to your place, no matter how tight space is. And by choosing the right plants, it can be productive and also look good.